May 15, 2021 it is. In this video, you know, I was heavily disturbed when I learned about the news about the gentleman who got involved in MKUltra in 1995 in Ljubljana. He's from Ljubljana. He was from Ljubljana. Uh, and in 1996, as a result of Murgle, you know, Murgle, that's where Milan Kuchin is from, that's where almost all these pro-Yugoslav, pro-Chetnik people were from. Uh, he was shot with a crossbow. He just happens to be one of the people I have embraced in 1995. I feel directly responsible for his death. Let me. I was subjected to MKUltra. I was drugged up. But the impression since I have made on him, he made a very strong impression on me because he supported my view. Uh, 1991 declaration of Slovenian nation in respect to independence with Slovenian nation exercise on the plebiscite with idea to separate from country called Yugoslavia back then that's a country that was occupied by Serbs it's a country that afterwards fought war against no less than six other nations still under name Yugoslavia even that it was Serbia that's what is a plain definition about Yugoslavia when it comes to Yugoslavia in 1995 I was brought from United States of America to Slovenia directly to Murgle it was not only about the partisan statues uh, but it was about direct confrontation, direct conflict I have had with portion of the city Ljubljana. It's called Murgle. This here is what I am referring to. You are welcome to go a uh, Google this here and maybe even translate this into English, but you're going to learn that every pro-Yugoslav, every pro-Chetnik, and it's important in Slovenia to equal pro-Yugoslav people, therefore, Chetnik movement, it's very important to equal Chetnik movement with the Hitler's neo-Nazi movement because both of these took stand against existence of people from Slovenia specifically this is where I primary am this is where I am from this is where I was born uh, their number one enemy were partisans so that's why it's very very important to equal these people here with what you have just seen previously in 1995 I directly have taught to Kochan I have taught to the people of Murga I do not want to have absolutely anything to do with them I don't want to see them I don't want to know about them just want to show you what part of Ljubljana this is this is this here basically if you look at Ljubljana on a greater scale but they refused along Murgle even prior to Murgle it was displayed here with the partisan statues and because I am coming from partisan family myself and heavily engaged partisan family in the World War II affairs. I deem for this kind of stuff that happened in front of the Slovenian memorials, I deem for Murgle not to have the right to engage against my country with all the violence that 
was available. Actually, it's all of all the violence that is available to anyone under the term of violence. This is the violence that cost me no less of 26 years of life. I did explain what happened. Through the forced unemployment, they broadened this issue of the Nazism against me, literally uh, to the broader and broader international circle. Made me look as something else This is the man who mainly is dessert for this stuff, but the guy here, that's a Vladimir Putin, actually. This is the man who was, his name is Milan Kuchan. This is the man. This is the man. If I go to Murgle, back to Murgle, you're gonna see this guy here. His name is Janus Stanonik. Janis Stanonik was a head of National Resistance Front in Slovenia, Liberation Front in Slovenia. Partisan movements post-World War II partisan movement. This here, which member I also became sometimes in 2017 or something like that. I always was part of this. But I didn't want to be part of that. That is some other issues. Uh, issue is this here. This is collaborator of a neo-Nazi that used a red star, that one, just like that, you know, under pretense to be something that ended up killing six other nations in Federation of Republic of Yugoslavia. So I condemn this and I equal this with a German neo-Nazi state, the one we fought against in World War II. They did not accept this for granted, and they sit down to throw their issues all the way to the day. I do want you to see this here. To me, this is very dis uh, extremely disturbing stuff I'm talking about. Is extremely. His name is Mr. Janus Stanonik. This is gentleman who was involved heavily, heavily, heavily in MK Ultra. Well, he was 97. He was heavily involved in MK Ultra. Just remember this man, please. And he actually had absolutely nothing to do with whatever went on at the memorials dedicated to the partisans. He had nothing to do with it. Mr. Stanonik had nothing to do with it. Mr. Kuchan and his team was doing this stuff along the Russian team on his own without knowledge even of the head of the national resistance, Janus Stanonik, he knew nothing about it. But because I became like the most famous public display of, they did not even know what exactly. Uh, they were laughing at me. It was like, they were laughing at me uh, actually, they used me as, a, to be very specific, they used me as a, as Mr. Stanonik stated to me. Uh, Mr. Stanonik, when, when he saw me, 
being very disrespectful in front of the memorials of the partisans. I was brought up like an animal there, drugged up to disrespect literally these memorials, partisans. He couldn't believe what he saw. Then what he was trying to do, he was trying to correct me because the society is such there are people that dare to actually publicly to to uh, not really publicly but they go and denigrate memorials dedicated to the partisans to the people because of whom we exist here in Slovenia today we would not even be on a map without the partisans and so he was shocked that I was doing this like well, that's what I'm going to stop, because Mr. Stanonik, when he saw me, this is an older man, he was 97 when he passed away, didn't know what the fuck went on. He, he knew nothing about MK Ultra. He was like, he wasn't sure whether he's seen what he's seen. He wasn't sure whether what he saw was acting like with with a conscience he wasn't sure whether as he was taught that this is not consciously that this is whatever they told him that's a question he wasn't sure on how to see this thing even unconscious he knew nothing about it so he wa what he wanted to do is Obviously, that he mistaken this for like a conscious behavior. He wanted to correct me with first uh, yelling at me. Uh, that's something once he started to yell at me that made me uh, maybe once, twice, it maybe even worked uh, that I was that I stopped whatever I was doing, talking. I, 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 they developed in me like in a German Shepherd, like it's like, like automated, like reflex issue. Like you would go, I already explained what went on. As they, I would approach the memorial, I would just go like, even if the more memorial was already removed. Unfortunately, they, with this kind of behavior, idiotic, criminal, hateful behavior, Unfortunately, Slovenian people started to demand memorials to be removed. I regret memorials to be removed because we are here because of these memorials. The problem are not the memorials, the problem are the people who created these issues. It's not the memorial. It was a desecration. It was a desecration of partisan movement, of everything this country should stand for he did this he tried to correct me like this until one time yeah he said he wasn't sure he was completely confused about this shit this whole thing he he didn't know if he saw the real thing even more he became confused when he would try to correct me and I would explode in front of I don't know maybe hundred people I had no idea and wanted to physically get him literally squeeze him he was telling me one thing I wanted to get my hands on him literally so he said he said so this is how they make them now he said Nazis this is how they make them now he, he didn't know exactly what to think about it all. And then he came to him, he said, he told me, he's, he, he, he told me, he said, no, he told probably Kuchan, whoever was next to me, the neighbors, burgers, would go. 
on such occasions all the time they always would participate he told them I have never seen German like this he said he said this is not normal he said and I did have Germans in my hands and when I had them in my hands like I have him now they didn't behave like this they didn't have this kind of attitude He finally learned, they learned, they are being observed, that people are laughing, that people are horrified globally. They decided to turn the whole story in the opposite way. Once more I was brought to this memorial desecration, told to go there in front of memorials where Mr. Stanonik was and start again with my bullshit. And I did it so many times I told them it's always the same shit. It's always it's all they always turn against me. It always ends up in a fight. I asked them, are you gonna support me? And they said sure, sure they will will. So I did go that last time I did. So, there was a Mr. Stanonik, and as I approached there, he noticed me, and he again became all stressed. He, he was without words. He was talking to the group of young people. These young people started to giggle, like here he is, and we started again. And that's all Mr. Stanonik was, uh, yeah, okay, uh, and Kuchan too. Let's go and have a drink now. Let's go. And as soon as they changed the tone, as soon as it was different atmosphere, that people were laughing and stuff, I didn't know anymore what the fuck I was talking, what I was even doing there, who the fuck these people were, what went on. This is MK Ultra, and in this audio, I'm going to lay a few more proofs about this victim of Murgler, who was killed with a crossbow. In case you don't know what a crossbow is, crossbow is a weapon that looks like this. This is a crossbow like this he was just promised that he's gonna be killed by one of the workers uh, that's this was a particularly aggressive violent worker who stated either he's gonna do it or he's gonna get somebody to do it uh, eventually his friend or whatever that's the way that was this guy worked inside of this team of workers in independent Slovenia. Slovenia gained independence from Chetniks in 91 with a war against one ended with opening of a new war on the south in, with Croatia and with Bosnia. When it started over there they lost control over Slovenia and they had to move down south and engage in ethnic cleansing in killings of Bosnian people, Croats, and so on and so forth. So that's how that went. Let me demonstrate to you where exactly I did identify this gentleman. Okay, you know, that's a Slovenia right here. You can see it. Now I am going to zoom to the city of the Novo Mesto. That's the city of the Novo Mesto. Here, this here, this is where I am from. Our residence. And this is the stuff that was actually 
close to this place recorded here this was recorded somewhere here like this recorded by a worker from Ljubljana whom I also knew from the first day since 1995 um, his boss was a blonde guy this was a blonde guy something I was actually even told that if I will be talking about that stuff that US Democrats are gonna go against me I don't know anything about that stuff I have a whole a lot to tell about this I'm gonna give a comment at the end of the video a little more um, this guy was a proud Slovenian guy how much was this guy Nazi maybe the guy I have just spoken with can tell or perhaps you should make up your own mind based on his account I think that he waited for a very long time to remind me he said that's when you're gonna get in trouble right on the top of this hill is the last thing you're gonna do I'm not afraid of those kind of troubles I as soon as I ended this talk with him I I proceeded and I, I'm telling you that that same day I was told about the Mr. Putin who was killed in 2004 my day was fucked up my day was so fucked up my week was so fucked up this was recorded a few days ago I don't even know what to tell you I don't even know what to tell you that evening I met another guy it's good I did because he charged me up a little bit um, uh, kind of entertaining funny guy but I I was I got into I have completely fallen in the hall of this stuff Mr. Putin not Putin but Putin Slovenian with almost named Putin what what even crazier is he looked completely like Russian and so when the Russians came Navalny knows all about this stuff because he was present he knows exactly who I am talking about Alexei Navalny knows it it was a funny stuff because I I, I couldn't stand this Putin team I couldn't stand any of them actually that I I was and they couldn't understand why I got along with Mr. Putin so well since he looked more Russian than they did even with that kind of name well he was an old friend of mine that's a simple answer I mean a friend like guy I liked a lot since I was like 16 since the first time I worked in a company here nearby that's really simple why I liked him so much there is no secret to it I'm gonna dedicate him another video well mr. Tu mr. Putin because of mr. Putin started to fucking hate himself kind of a blame it on me because I liked him he wanted me to hate him too but I didn't so he got a curse on him from the Russians this is such a fucked up awkward game that's why I tell you people don't push don't open little boxes if you don't know what is inside them yeah before he could tell his tale he was killed in 2004 he was angry at me make no mistake about it but I couldn't help myself this is just MK Ultra. let's continue now uh, the gentleman I'm talking about this is like shorter guy um, this one would go completely in a category of probably this is authentic Slovenian Slovenian guy as it gets Slovenian but this is not light skin or something like that this one would go in exactly the opposite of what neo-nazi plan was plan was a final solution in a World War II he would go he would fit into exactly that opposite group 
but he loved his blonde boss. He loved him because his boss loved him. The two got along very well. He gave him a good raise. He, he promoted him, that's why, basically, because he liked him. And he loved his boss so much that, look at that, that happened in 96. 25 years later, he met me. And that, a weekend house, a home, where he knew a major drama is going to develop sometimes in the future to meet me. I remember he's from Ljubljana. He bought the weekend house, a vineyard house, here in the mountains, along the trail where the politicians would go. Let's go, and I am going to give you a total overview about what exactly I am talking about. Okay. First, I'm going to play you like a little thing here so that you see this. This is a really beautiful place. Up, up, up in the hills. This is like about 650 meters altitude. Yep, that way. It's not here. I'm just giving you a little idea about this. Uh, very close here though, but you can see this is very, very high up in the mountains. This is when vineyards, rain, rule, and that's where he bought himself. That's a church of St. Mar Mary's birth. Yeah, you can see, you can see one down below. Um, and he did, right here in the top of all this, he got himself, he built himself a weekend house. You couldn't have a better neighbor than this. He would give his life for anybody, half decent, I think. This is just a really good person, a husband, a father, but he couldn't take it. He couldn't take this kind of maliciousness, anger, hatred. He just couldn't take it. It's many other people who couldn't take it. Hold on. That's why Slovenian people, we decided on a referendum plebiscite to take place to become independent state. A little did this go, did that went along with plans of those who wanted to reopen a concentration camp, jail of the nations called Yugoslavia. I say hello, hi, how are you? Oh, he's got like a little dog. He's got like a little dog with him, and uh, I just happen to love dogs. Uh, the dog comes, I see him. I, I'm actually at that point in time, I don't know who. I walked many times during MK Ultra through here, but I have no idea exactly. Uh, who exactly is this person? I, I am. Let's learn. Let's talk a little. And as I know, one thing I do know that I do know everybody. That's one thing I do know because I go around, I go around, and I see. You know, sometimes I see the gates. Sometimes I see. I don't know house. And I remember when people build something. You know, change around. And so I always know there is good people everywhere because. You know, I wouldn't know any of this if the people wouldn't care. They they do care. They did. This is, this is a small dog. Like a chihuahua or something like that. Yeah, I should bring some cookies with me. Definitely a uh, steak would be better. Uh, I hear. Yeah. Yeah, I have to bring something with me. Yeah. 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 Ye
Uh, I am teasing him. I am. I am totally teasing him. It was other people who teased him too. Uh, he made. This is a very family man. This is. This is a family man. Um, if I am not mistaken, and I don't think I am mistaken. Actually, I think. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. But he's got family, wife, children. Um, yeah, he's like this. He's a very welcoming guy. This guy would just welcome everybody. Whoever whoever would pass, uh, whatever would go past, he would invite people to come over to him, to sit with him, to have fun. He have a beautiful pool. He does let people to go, in, you know, neighbors, stuff, friends, to go inside of the pool. He wants to share everything with everybody. That's all. Ja, so ist es schon spannend. Dobro je, dobro je. 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 Dobro je, yeah, so I tell him, ask me about you came walk around here. I tell him I did. Fresh air is good. Now I, as soon as I see him, this is the first time I see him. Boom, the memory start to twist, and I got something an idea about some kind of production facility. Something related to uh, like uh, assembly, but the type of assembly that would have something to do with the parts, with mechanical, with mechanical, with with car parts, with whatever parts. Not like a car line assembly or something like this, automated car line assembly or something like that. But I remember that that. He's something that that in that branch that he's got something to do with it. Have you managed to me? Have you managed to me? Take I asked. Are you? Do you, do you, do you? Can you recall me by any chance? I think I'm the one. Is this a, I don't know where to put you. Right? I tell him we used to go through here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't know what to come up with. I don't know what to come up with. I have no idea what to come up with. But the only company like this here, it would be like maybe something like TPV, Renault, something like that, that they would have such a big area for for work inside assembly for the parts, whatever. Whatever that was. Ali je bio neko kovinar sa neke tazge i tako dole, ne? A nije bilo neke tazge. He did not work in Renault. Ja sam, ja sam... I tell him, but it was some kind of a branch like that. And some kind of, uh... Mechanical stuff. TPV, maybe. I say TPV, maybe it was a TPV. How about that? TPV... Um, what is the TPV? TPV... TPV, that's like something like this. As I know, you know what Renault is, but this is about again something like this. You know, they have different offices, they don't only have one. So I don't know. I am really confused. I see ample wide area. Um, and I am not sure what exactly where, what exactly I would place him in, what what group would that go to? You know, that's a TPV, let's say. You know, this is a TPV. You know, or actually, this is not TPV. This is another company, but 
you know we are talking about mechanical mechanical here <coughs> Uh, I think he said that he's uh, from Ljubljana, right? And I said... I don't know if he's from Ljubljana, right? And I said... I don't know if he's from Ljubljana, right? I don't know if he's from Ljubljana. He says I'm from Ljubljana. But I continue to insist, but it was something like this, it was something like this. It was like large ample spaces. You worked yeah. inside. Yeah, the reason they love for yeah, uh, autobus. Autobus. Uh, he says I worked in Tishleria. Tishleria, that's like a woodwork. Woodwork is something completely different. But he says buses. With buses. There you go. Okay. Now we are we are getting somewhere. Buses. Okay, so it's not cars, it's buses. So the buses must have stolen but I can still autobuses to stall. It's a proud to you make a prize word now. It was a manufacturing of buses. No, it's a proud to you make a call. No, you can know what you do. I'm not. You do not have to work, no? And pretty much, if I would put this, it was exactly what I stated earlier. What I had in my mind, like I don't know, like PPV. It was just, it was not a car assembly line, something like this, but. It was a, well, production area, but also assembly, but not like, you know, like a robotical assembly line. So. Oh, yeah. 600 people was involved. Yeah, yeah. 600 people was employed. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm used to this for cooking. I I say to him, I I don't know. I thought it it could be that you work here in Novo Mesto someplace. But he said, no, no, Ljubljana. My my story is for you, my sir. This one is for me. Must have been for me. I was living on the floor all the time. I say, I I embrace dog. I hug dog, and I say, I remember everything. I will tell you exactly what it was. Lasnika vaše firme, ja spomnim. Kako se je zatjelo te? Ja? I tell him, you know, I tell him, I even remember owner of your company, how it all started. Everything, everything, everything. Bila firma, ki je bila predhodno, ne vem, koga je bilo, ampak vem pa, da se zgodilo tam enega leta, 96, nekaj tazga, da se je pa nekaj zmenjalo tam. I tell him I don't know what it was. I have no idea, but it was in '96 that happened something that it changed completely. Uh, I don't know what it was, what company was. Uh, he already tells me it was with the buses, of course. Okay, I understand that. But it was in '96. I tell him that something happened in '96. Everything changed. Uh, Lipicher was a director, a boss. They killed him, literally with a crossbow. And yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember the workers, uh, some, they argued the way this was. This was an atmosphere that would make a human being in a new state, just established, a new, a new country, established, afraid to go inside in that kind of atmosphere that at that was. Victoria. He was a director, his name was Lipicher, they killed him with a crossbow, yep. Yes, Ganesa. 
I say I did not. Ne, ne, vem kdo go je, pa... Ne? Ne, pa na meno ma. I am shocked with what he tells me right now. I am shocked with what he tells me right now. But in a few steps more, as we go on, I recall year probably 88, uh, actually, uh, excuse me, 98. 98 probably, 99, the latest. I'm sure it was 98. That's what Mr. Kuchan walked inside in there with the papa, with everything. And they were just shaking like this on how everything is going to be different now. How everything appointing. Actually, in 96, they walked inside and they're like, like a mob, like a gangsters. How they have their people. 97, 98, how they have their own people. They're going to appoint now. That is a problem. I don't know what it is, and this and that. You're gone. You're go your 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 friend is gone. I mean, yes, gone. That was one thing that was gone. But you don't you don't talk about somebody that got killed like that in a new country established in independent Slovenia with so much derision, hatred you don't talk to me like this you don't talk to me like this to me you don't talk like this yeah, he says it, well, there was a resentment uh, between the two he does not want to go and say anything political anything political um, to be completely completely specific Kuchan Pahor walked inside in there probably 97 it's exactly it's exact year okay but sometimes in 98 99 again something happened um, in 97, as soon as the director was killed, everything was going to look bright. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. By killing this Slovenian, proud Slovenian guy, who had blonde mustaches, blonde, they did not solve their problems. They actually got company in financial problems. The individual who was really violent, threatened, life threatened people. Finally was fired, and because he was fired, he got a crossbow, and that was it. So that means that was... Uh, that means, excuse me, a little earlier, I gestured that he would even get somebody, because I remember the guy, what he talked, what, what this guy was openly talking in front of the people, what he's going to do, and this and that. Not only to him, to me, and so on. Oh, I completely recall the whole thing. I, I almost sit on my ass. Um, it was uh, a big affair, he tells me. It was a dilemma. After the dilemma ended, uh, within a few years, uh, the company was finished. They closed down the whole thing. 
It was finished, the whole thing. Um, Celoski Dvori. This here is what it is. As Borat Pahar proud me, proudly he would update me on a situation. Uh, I think it was either in 2015 or 2017. He was he he was laughing at this thing, you know. He proudly paraded me. Uh, Ljubljana demonstrated me how much Ljubljana changed, and. To him, I realized the opportunity, it was like, he talked about unfinished project, he talked about financial problems, but he had a total disrespect for what he reminded me once took place there. There was no regret for anything, there was no regret for anything. Ja zvijes, kako da bi vas upravo, ker sem bil v tej firmi noter. Ja? In se spomnim, celo tega gospoda se spomnim. Vi ste pa bil, se je bila to ena velika zamera, ne vem kaj proti nemu, cel kolektiv se proti nemu obrne, jaz ne vem, koga je bilo. Vi ste bil eno tisti, ki je mi pa res izmeril. It was like this. Because of the political stuff, it was more and more people that turned against the director, believe it or not. They started to side with the guy who afterwards shoot director with the crossbow. This is this is the way this this is this is what the politic was. I said, but you are one of the few who sided with him. This is true. This is true because this director, what was about this director? I remember the director. Director wanted the work. Director wanted the results. And if you were a good worker, if you were willing to sacrifice, if you were willing to pay your way, he would give you a raise. He would help you out, was the kind of person. But there was people that they wanted to guide director. There was people in there who knew better than director. There was people in there who believed they are bosses of this director. They can tell him on how and this and that. This is for me. Say, I completely described the big hall and on the side they had offices, you could go up to the offices also. I totally remember the whole thing. He says, yes, exactly, that's exactly the way it was. The offices were upstairs. I have decided to tell him more. I have decided, decided to give him more description about this place, about this non-existing anymore, gone, demolished place, factory. Mercedes, Scania, I don't know what they were doing, the stuff, uh, they got, that's why I was there, I was there, so they got the foreign investors going, so they got fresh money, fresh cash, technology going, that kind of stuff, the director wanted to get the job done, uh, and he was proud Slovenian too, he was happy to have me around, boy, because Having me around, man, cash. 
meant foreign investors. It meant for money to drip in. Alexander Vucic had me abducted to the mental hospital, psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, so he could get a hold of me, bring me to Serbia, so they could get more investors from abroad, so they would get cash. That's how fucking valuable. So why would it be good for a Tretnik in Serbia and not for the Slovenian guy from Slovenia to use the opportunity to make the money? Why why would that be why would that be politically okay to do it? And the other way, since I am from here, not correct. The wrong way to do it. I said, what happened? It was year 2000. No, later I correct 99. It was year 2000. What happened? I said, year 2000. What, what, what happened? They started to do something else. They, they started to do something else in 2000. He says, no, the company closed down. So you see, I know for 96, I know for 2000, I described the factory, what it looked like, where the offices looked like. In a little bit, you're going to hear me describe what the hall, halls, the production halls, the assembly halls look like. Then you're going to hear me describing director. Tom produced engines and chassis for the buses. Then we have to import engines and chassis. Okay, okay, I am, how would I explain possibly, uh, I am dizzy when I hear this stuff, when I hear this, this kind of stuff, I, my mind goes just back and forth, but goes, goes to, goes to this place, uh, and I am, I am catching myself on feet, I don't know. I can't actually believe that they would go and kill the guy with the crossbow. 96 is like a five years after independence in Slovenia that something like this would happen. Okay, I asked him about what exactly happened in respect to criminal Persecution. State should persecute an individual. Nothing is what happens. Well, the thing is that I was told already before that... Let's just go here and see that kind of stuff. Slovenia became a full member state in 2004. Um, let me demonstrate to you here. And this, unfortunately, I have to tell you, was a killing, a political killing of an individual with a complete derision uh, for the rule of law. Uh, the way Kuchan and Pahor explained to me this stuff, the justice completely blind in this case because Slovenia was not even a European Union member state. And so there was nobody under any kind of obligation for anything. They alone explained to me that stuff. That case is already tarnished 
uh, pal lost. That's it. Upon entry of Slovenia to European Union, however, the things got a little bit more difficult technically for them. It had to be whatever they were doing more technical. They had to be see things from a different, uh, not any longer the same way like the case was at stake with the Ivan Kramberger before that and so on. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, it's too often, it's too often. He says, no, I don't know. He says, I don't know. This is so long ago, this was in uh, 96. Yeah, it's too often, it's too often. What also happened in 99, I am going to tell you, in 99, they did like a major change of this horse. And I think they acquired another hall. They started to build next to it. They took extra terrain next to it. They expanded this halls. Uh, halls, how do you say? Uh, hala, hala meaning this, like, like this, they would add uh entire space like this next to what they started in 98 something like this they started to expand something i didn't ask but it is yeah uh, this was a catastrophe i i couldn't oh don't think that i was not told about that stuff i was told about that stuff I was told, they updated me. The thing about it is that this stuff, when they tell you on the MK Ultra, whenever they told me some stuff like this would happen, I was just... Uh, when you wake up, it, it felt like you had a nightmare. That's all there is, and you don't actually want to burden. You don't actually want to think that something like this actually did happen. You are rather to think the whole thing never happened, all right? You don't want to actually concentrate on, on a stuff like this because just like my Eddie Lamar from Miami, a friend of mine would say that life is too short. Man, life is too short. Yeah. yeah. Bergman became a director. Yeah, say, say later, talk to Mao. Say one bunker to cool up over. This director Bergman, uh, he also updated me on on a situation on on new issues. I don't know. It's clear that the situation is not as good as it should be. I made a mistake here. I it it appeared to me that the guy retired himself too. That he that he went already and retired himself. This uh, this. Uh, not yet, not yet. I say no, no. He says no, but I say, but I was, I, I kind of thought that you already did retire, like in 2015 that you did. He says no, no, no. In year uh, for the new year, I will. Um, okay, this story uh, very sensitive for him. He was afraid for himself to come up with this stuff. Dreamed about getting retired before even he would give this thing out. Very sensitive, very difficult one. Yep. Political. He says for the new year. Yeah, it's a deal with them. Eight nights, it's for the same I worked in there. He says twenty years. It's called auto montage. Okay, this is auto montage. It's a, it, auto means car montage, but this is not really car. This is just assembling buses, not cars. Bus montage, bus montage, trust me, I did not even Google the internet. This is just 
ample space and it's different because it was like bigger pieces they would handle I remember the whole thing what went on and in a little bit I tell him this and he gives me yeah that nice, uh, way to clear, no not because I would know uh, this type of work I had never been even considering work in uh, some kind of a bus uh, facility, production facility. No way. I just remember the place. I remember the place completely. I remember when they started, when they started to build a uh, hall next door. I remember how the place was expanding. How about this? How they, they, they dig, they acquired the little land, and I think that was year '99. I think. They acquired land, 98, 98, 98, I think 98 it was when they acquired like additional land next to this and they expanded, they built another hall. And this director, he was dreaming about that he's gonna, this is gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger and stuff. Yeah, this is just the way it is. Nu, 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 visă vezi de lucru de lucru de lucru, nu, 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 visă o ta stare pe ar modelul, nu, 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 visă de lucru tam de 95 de lucru de lucru de lucru, ce mă întâmplă de lucru de lucru de lucru, ce mă întâmplă de lucru de lucru de lucru de lucru, de lucru de lucru că se poate spremeni lucru de lucru de lucru, ce vende se spremeni lucru, se prau că se nega spremeni lucru de lucru de lucru de lucru, ce mă întâmplă de lucru 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 de they started to add these things because they expanded yes like you said in 2000 they lost engines they lost the chassis they knew the store uh, the company in maribor tam tovarna uh, uh, motorni vozil maribor they're gonna close one down that's what they were doing for the buses so they knew they're gonna get this from abroad so it's gonna be different stuff so yes in 98 they acquired additional land, started to build additional halls because they had to prepare for that change. So that's what that is. To be completely, completely technical about this. А какой типа ты, Лек? Какой я пошел, какой я пошел грозно старт, это здесь слышим. I tell him, uh, I also know who did this. I also know who did this. In my mind, I remember Pahar, I remember Kujan. How they walked with me to those offices, to that production area, uh, by uh, inside of those offices into accounting department I can it was a political restructuring it was a political administration it was a political administration change they wanted to have their own people inside of them and they got what they were looking for so it's not difficult who did this right yeah. I feel completely beaten up at this point in time when I when he tells me about this. Just prior to this, I have spoken to the guy about Mr. Tutin. That was another beating I got. I this is the second one in the same day. I hear I I am beaten up at this point like going like from one nightmare to the other this is what this is like yes some of us form and the list of yellow yes i mean so that to you blow thank us to be to blow set a cool story but i could be a little do not i need to talk about the yellow talk is fat to do not man to be able to talk about the chances the stories of the post hour chances of the stories Производная была так у великой было. Великой, великой было. Ты такой, на какой взгляд, ну... 
to je nekako tako zgledalo kot, ki ste delavni se z neki tazga zgledalo kot recimo, če bi dal, recimo, ajde od tele, recimo, tam do, to so bila take hale v bistvu. Hale so bila nekaj bila pa, tako da je tukaj kako zavca recimo, neki tazga. Jo, je bilo kar več, je bilo kar več. Ali ti je bilo več, ne bila samo ena? Ja, bil je več hali. Ja, ja, ja. Jaz sem spravljala. Okay, I give him a description of what exactly it looks. I talk about this house, Halle, uh, Halle, uh, of this areas where they did this production. I give him a description of how this this was. I, I give him a distance all the way to, I tell him, barn. There is a barn over there in a distance. He said even bigger than that. Kaj kako je bilo ime te firme? Automontaža. Automontaža. Automontaža bo ste ne. Jaz so se lovški dvori tam. Ti so zrušili vse herci. He says everything they turn down and it's now this celovški dvori over there. Zdaj so pa zrušili vse. Vse celovški dvori so, ki so še... This I already discussed about that stuff. No, the company no longer exists. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yeah. I tell him, from my point of view, this never ever happened, but it did happen. No. It's a mess to be though. Yeah. 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 I go to Kuchan immediately, um, he did not like him, um, and I also explain him why exactly is that Kuchan didn't like him, and in a little bit I give a total explanation why Kuchan did not like him. I don't know what to say, but he didn't have to worry. No, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but he didn't have to worry. I don't know what to say, but he didn't have to worry. I don't know what to say, but he didn't have to worry. I don't know what to say, but he didn't have to worry. Jaz se pa tu spomnim kaj. Tam bi mogel biti Mercatus, ne? Lejte, lejte. Pa pa uno gor dekorativno poder, ali pa je bila dekorativna, pa pa so tam gor Mercator naredili. Druga so imeli na me. Ok, v tem kaj, help me a bit more understand why Kočan didn't like him. The memorials, that was one thing. Uh, the second thing that had problem with was Vladimir Putin. This was Russians. They had a tremendous problem with the people that was that were light skinned. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous problem. Because they lost business, Škoda, they lost businesses in Poland, Polak's got Czechs got businesses and they felt because they are not white enough, European enough, they are actually even losing countries, territories. They felt they have lost control over Slovenia, Croatia because of that and have determined if they would have a class of the Russian people that would be completely light skinned. Uh, Scandinavian, German alike, they could actually command us. They figure out that they are seen from also our perspective as non-white people and therefore 
without ability to exercise command on us, without ability to control us. They believe that, in other words, they believe that the idea about independent Slovenia is a racially motivated idea. They believe that the whole thing was on a racial fundaments. That's why I mentioned a little earlier about the U.S. Democrats. Okay. For that matter, Vladimir Putin went straight into the bed with Berlin, with some countries from Scandinavia. He bragged about, boasted about Iceland, how they have a people also uh, crossbreed with the Russians from Iceland and of course United States of America. That's where Donald Trump came on a picture. Now, so that you understand where the idea about if, if, only if, that too was not an excuse, if that too was not something else for something else. I don't believe, look, when it comes to Murgla, look, when it comes to this city here, Murgla, look, when it comes to Murgla, this stream called Mali Graben here, it was the guy who told me that this was the guy I can actually even describe. He would tell me this was a guy in his in his 50s, you know, late 50s, uh, like a taller guy, like a little taller than myself, like philosophical guy, uh, that he wanted to this, that he started with this project about three years earlier, something like this, like it would be like in 92, something like that. But the project did not go through because there was no money and it just would not happen. They abandoned this project work on this project about three years earlier therefore from 95 because i was brought here in 95 uh, to this portion of Ljubljana, literally to these politicians they live there and so what they did was because they insisted because i like the water so much because i like the water so much they insisted to the slovenian state for one to provide finances, money, cash, so they could complete this project. And they got the money, they completed the project, and now you had artificial stream, the water canal uh, running through the Murgla, through Ljubljana. Uh, likewise, Vladimir Putin completed his uh, castle along the Black Sea. Uh, Putin claimed that uh, this palace, or this, is, this is what I want, that this is what I needed. And actually that not so much of a castle, but what is inside that stuff, the Italian expanse of stuff, whatever, the luxurious stuff that was like, that I detected that it was of a low quality, the first time when they whatever they installed inside and so they I don't know what they did they even put some gold in a toilet and stuff like this and so I think that Vlad Vladimir Putin learned everything no he did not learn everything criminal in Slovenia because he was a this was a trained criminal this is this is a gangster this is a gun gangster is what this is his profession is a thug is a criminal is a gangster watch the movie Navalny made and you're gonna understand who this guy is that's one of the things but it seems that he was able to do in Slovenia stuff otherwise he would not be allowed to do in Russia he brought people from Russia to Slovenia to actually train them here to brainwash them here to prepare them I think for the stuff frankly what I think in Russia I think they would not even allow him stuff that was allowed to him in Slovenia that uh, in Russia, they wouldn't allow him to stop. This is what this was. So, I just want you to understand what exactly happened. And yes, there was a lot, a lot of 
Germans, Schroeder, all kinds of people from Germany, from Scandinavia, from everywhere, they started to migrate. Uh, after 95, all of a sudden, they started to migrate uh, to the Russia and breed with the Russian ladies uh, or whatever. Uh, it was that kind of stuff. It was life after death stuff, died, uh, whatever, uh, committed suicide. In between, uh, learned a, lo a Russian language and appeared somewhere in Russia, stuff that went on. Uh, it was not for no reason that some American senator, I think that it was our ambassador to Russia, that would not want to leave from Russia and so on. It's all kinds of stuff like this that went on. Uh, I just, what I, what I explained to you right now, I, I explained the gentleman. Uh, I said, what goes on in Russia? I, I said about the Kucha and, and about these things. I said, I said these, are, these are actually a real Nazis. It's, they, they have a stars, but in reality, these stars are used to cover up something else. Uh, in Russia, at risk, and what Vladimir Putin dreamed about loudly was to actually terminate people with the Asian DNA. This is real Russia. This is why it was so important to Vlad, the stuff that I explained. And the church is No, this is not about me glorifying uh, blonde people, the white race. Uh, this is just about this little country here, Slovenia, a gift from God to us, the people here. Uh, gift to the people that love this country, that like to live according to the country, to what the country is. Because this country welcomes people from all backgrounds, from all over the world. This isn't about that I would go and harbor a Nazi or whatever, or something like this. It just happened so this guy also was light skinned blonde guy and so in other because of the common corner of the what are Kirko at all the Ampagreta discuss the reason for more products. Oh the man doesn't want to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, he here Milan Kuchan did not like that subject. Milan Kuchan is actually a king in Slovenia. This is a king is not officially king, he and Borat Pahar, these are two kings. They are just not official yet, they just wait for the title to come from Belgrade, from Moscow, and then they're going to become kings officially. Yeah. No, he tells me about this Tseloshki worry that there was no money for it, uh, that what Pahar, Pahar uh, Kuchan said, Mr. Kuchan said, yeah, it's going to be one more time that's going to be necessary, it's going to be one more time that's going to be necessary, yeah, but well, we got everything under control, it's going to be one more time that's going to be necessary, that's why I said that that time by then slovenia is to clean the mess in this country and becomes truly prauna država uh, country according to the law and order country it's just like this so uh, one more time one more time is going to be necessary <laughs> I am shocked, I'm appalled with what I hear. There are some unfinished projects, gentlemen tell me. Tells me. Yeah, we'll be doing some stuff in Shishka and stuff. Yeah. Um, 
u bisu kukar, 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 kukar tu i sve, kukar, kukar tu, tu i sve. Uh, I am gonna just uh, fast forward this because I will explain him exactly what I explained you about. Yeah. Tuk, 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 tuk. Milan Kuchin and Pahot promised American U.S. Democrat Party that they would bring in here people with people of color, Roma people, all kinds of people, and so that this would be more like color wise and stuff like this but exactly for the cost of what I stated to you earlier we would get people uh, from various non-European backgrounds here which I definitely hope so we will because I welcome you all but the Russia at the same time it already did happen they would have a Scandinavian German and that immigrate there and then what it would happen is they would implement control uh, from the outside from Moscow uh, on us they would have uncles and aunts they would come blonde uh, and basically uh, they would just go I guess Heil Moscow or something like this and we would be a yes sir uh, we are of darker complexion and so say it and that's how it's gonna be this is actually a fucking Moscovian madness I was told by the Russians alone will happen that this is how make no mistake uh, Schroeder can tell you a lot about it Schroeder that's a German President Schroeder. He spent his life in Moscow, at least half of it. He can tell you all about that kind of stuff. This is this is all about this. He can tell everything about that kind of stuff. They have a lot of projects like this going on with the Frau Merkel and, and that kind of stuff. No. no. I'm actually not kidding. I am actually not kidding. That much, however, about... This thing here, about a national resistance. And what I'm gonna say about this guy, I'm gonna say, I hope his soul rest in peace. I definitely regret that he found himself in the world in, in a mad world like this is a very nice guy was a very nice guy once he learned about what went on he changed completely um, was this because of the outside that started to observe them at large in other political parties or not um, I don't think so I don't actually believe so when it comes to him I I am gonna reserve um, for him this was a this was a pain this whole thing this case the way this was uh, this case actually burdened him this this case I honestly believe this was a completely completely different category uh, from Milan Kuchan. I think that this was, you know, a real partisan. I think that this was a real, completely, completely different story. This is what I think. Uh, so, this also is dedicated to Slovenian national resistance, this thing, so that you will know. I know this is this is this is a very very deep video I know this is this is a very maybe 
you're gonna see even philosophical but I did provide it with the proofs as factual as those possibly could be you know if you are a US Democrat I just want you to understand because some of you actually did go for that I just want you to understand what exactly you went for Yes, <laughs> Tu i zato da je vada nota, kje pazgamo. Se mi zdi, da je nespremljiva ena taka diagnoza narodu, češ, da je samo tuk vreden, kukor tujci vidi v nemu vrednost. Tu se mi zdi, padlo, enostavno povedano padlo, in smo mi, ker, lejte, kruva po nas, da si ti šel. Tule, kar sem zdaj, da si smo me prisadeli. Tu je nepotrebno, veste, tu si ni dosegla. Ampak do takšnega recepta, tako so Nemci z njimi naredili, za nas Slovence so pocenili, da bo tu z Nemci ni dosegla. Bolj ta stvar se mora da dela jedno tako naprej. Lejte, kaj pa je človk kriv, če se je tle rodil, pa če je ne vem kaj, če ima, ne vem, če je blond, ali pa kaj je in tako naprej. Kaj pa je tu kriv, da naših ljudi in tako naprej? Kakšno preklep tu pa je zdaj tvoje? Zakaj pa moramo mi zdaj pa tako biti, pa take stvari se morajo da dela jedno tako naprej? Tam v Rusiji pa proti azijskim emigrantom diskriminirajo in na samo živimo. Nacizem govijo. Ne si jih zemljujo. Ne si jih zemljujo. Ja, mislim, za njih, 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 jaz se spomnim, kaj je bilo na Češkem, jaz se spomnim tovarne škode, jaz se spomnim, kaj je bilo. In, in jaz sem, jaz sem prišel do tega zaključka, da, glede na to, kar sem videl se svojimi očmi, da, je bila tudi taka, taka žlahnova je bila, to je bila taka, taka zavis, grozna stvar, ko smo slišali. Če ti rečeš recimo, da to, da njihove žele te nakazujo, kaj se je začel poberat, komunist, njimi všeč. Če se komu povedal, zdaj sem pa politični narato, če nas smel, ampak, lejte, 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 skrivajo se se, skrivajo se za besede komunist, jer zim se, recimo, tudi šla do nove mesta. I'm going to fast reverse, uh, fast forward, there is one more proof I need, and I'm going to show you the whole thing later on, that's going to be it, but to end this video properly, I just want to continue with the audio from here point out I don't remember your wife I can only recall you I say this because I have never seen her at this place at this location and he says oh yeah Wait a minute, wait a minute, but you have, you have something. You do have a children and a wife, you do. Yeah. Uh, he says, yes. 
Uh, I say, yeah, they are, but I have not seen them here, ever. Right here. Yeah. Oh. He says, not here. He says, sometimes they come. I say, understand, understand. Okay, in style. I I am not gonna play with this stuff, but I think, I think, I think he lives in uh, this area here, Shishka, maybe. Uh, do I know about this? No, 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 no. Um, The house that comes to mind uh, is something like this. It used to be the house like this with like a side entrance. Let me demonstrate to you the headlines here I have made. Side entrance, like a side entrance, right? Uh, it used to be like a, uh, that's very bad. Is this also, it was like, uh, something like this, like this, and, uh, that would incorporate in, 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 uh, in something like this, like side entrance. Um, used to be, it's a little older house, but not as old that you see here. But it looked like color like this, something like that. Um, they did have like a tree here too. Uh, there was a fence that was some something like this and I think that this portion it was like uh, kind of open he started to remodel the house he started to remodel the house paint everything made a house improvement uh, and house more than not then would resemble like something like this house like something like this but without this balcony it's just like house like you see here something like that he started to remodel this house as soon as he got uh, his wife and they have a children i think already in 2003 is what when he started with remodelation that means that his children, I think he's got at least two, uh, must already be uh, 18, 20 years old, child. This is the stuff uh, I did not ask next time when I see him. I'm going to ask him about this. I did got into the fight with him because of the lady, of course. This was just a regular for me. Um... I always end up with a fight. It didn't matter really. If the girl appealed to me uh, and I started a fight for the girl, it, it was always somebody else that in the end would walk away with her hand. And uh, if I would not like the girl, if it would not appeal to me under MK Ultra, uh, I would be everything. And in case somehow I would even start to like her, because that stuff happened too. Um, and again, somebody would walk away with her too. So I figure out, psychology-wise, this was not a stupid strategy. Uh, Donald Trump wanted to accomplish a personality that would be like in a in two words uh always it would end up like to the hell basically because either way you did it it, it never added up either way if you like the girl 
it was somebody else who would get her anyways. Uh, they would come with a million one way to insult. Anyhow, if you didn't like the girl, uh, you were bad anyways, and in case you would even start to like her, uh, it would be somebody else that would walk away with her too. So either way, um, you would be in trouble and it would always go to the help, the help. Subconsciously, when you know for the person that's going to have to spend years to uh, research, investigate his own situation, refusing him a police assistance, uh, acknowledge him as insane and stuff like this, this creates like very, very self-destructive personality in an individual. Now I know why that was done. Um, so, I actually think it was a beautiful woman. Um, he's got a beautiful wife. Brought her, I think, I'm pretty sure, I think to her home. Um, there was in a picture some apartment building that there would be something like that. Uh, but this was not this family. This was another one. I don't I don't see that this would be this family like the, the first the two of them uh, They were in the apartment building. I don't think so. Uh, that was an a that was another family. That was somebody else. I think uh, This is what I would describe uh, The residence his residence and residence of uh, his wife, children, and probably, may, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe maybe here in Shishka area somewhere, uh, but I'm really, really, really not sure about it. I am really, really not sure about it. Um, actually, I am going to do like this here and see if I can... If I can, <laughs> I did click the street on it, but it would not give me just here. Definitely not. On our way to him, I try to demonstrate the streets. The street, what exactly, uh, more or less, that looked like. So that uh, I would give you an idea about that. Um, I like this, uh, this kind of street. Uh, I don't know when it all start. Maybe, maybe even one, two, something like this, and then down. Maybe something like this. We walk these streets back and forth, boy. I think. I think it kind of uh, reminded me the street when you would go to him it kind of it kind of looked like this like that uh, but I think I think I think this is not it but I'm just giving you an idea about more or less description of his house okay so i think he's got two children uh a boy definitely it's a boy and there is a chance actually there are two boys okay so that's something not confirmed but i will get that but i do point out that he does have a wife he does have family does have children he gives me a yes on that uh the last thing that i owe you then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play an audio recording. Oh, that's going to be... This way I'll see you, man. That's going to be this thing here. Oh. I asked him about a skin complexion of his boss. And I tell him... I tell him 
your boss had a blonde hair light skin blonde hair let's go this gentleman, uh, well, the boss of yours, we talk about. Uh, he, she, he had a blonde hair, right? Yeah, the blonde hair. Yeah. Yes, he was blonde, is what he replies to me with. In Sestonen, to the West Sestonen, to the West. To the Grot, to the Nepotrebne. A ta gospod, ki ste mi ga zdala v menu, ne? Ja. Oni mu še tako svetla lase imel, ne? Ja. Ne? Je bilo tako? Tako blonde, ki je bilo. Ja. Tu je nepotrebno, veste, tako stvari so nepotrebni. Tu je, tu ni v redu. Ja. Veste, zakaj še bolj ni? Ok, ladies and gentlemen, I think I did prove the point. Let's go over this thing. In 96, I pointed out something happened in this company. Uh, director of the company got killed. In 96, maybe at the beginning of 97, it wasn't immediately. Yeah, it was quite, quite, quite immediately. 96, quite, quite, quite immediately. I walked inside in there with Mr. Kuchan and with Borat Pahar, with a whole Murgle delegation. We go straight into accounting. They told me they already have everything handled. Uh, it was the political turnover that took place, 96, 97. The new director acquaintanced me that the company is not going bad. Uh, it's not gonna go broke. It was a dilemma. Uh, the company faced crisis immediately. Uh, instead, director started to bitch me is acquiring more land next to the property. It did so, I observed some kind of enlargement of this structure, I think. That took place probably in 98. Knowing Tom is going out of business in the 99 for sure. Uh, they were preparing, they were, they were preparing badly. Director updated me, new director. I think the new director was a good guy, actually. I don't know anything about the new director. New director, I can't tell anything bad about. New director, director that came. I can't tell anything about him. I think he was a very nice guy, too. Uh, it, that's just the way it is. Um, They got prepared for the closure of Tom. That's a factory from Maribor. It's basically that. That one goes out of business, out of order in 2000. Uh, that actually required, from what I remember, Uh, quite a deal of money. They had to restructure. It was uh, it was additional stuff they have to they have to. I don't know what exactly it was, but yeah, he had to find this new market and so on and so forth. Uh, I think it was more stuff that was added to this facility. And what can I say? I pointed out, gentleman also has a family. I described you his house, definitely the situation. The wife is beautiful. It's a classic guy from Ljubljana. Described you what the boss looked like, that he has a children, family. They are seldom there, I don't see them. And 
I think there are actually two boys, not one. I think once he told me boys, and these boys already are 18, 20 years old, something like this now. So that's the stuff I say, and what can I say? Uh, I gave you a description more or less of what a house used to look like when the when he started with the renovation of the house too and stuff like that so that's I think a pretty damn good description of it I remember the gentleman was involved in MK Ultra since 1995 outstanding individual I think his whole team was outstanding with exception of few people and this is the people that somebody used from the outside uh, to crush the whole administration and start his own uh, under pretense whatever of Nazism whatever I think they knew what they were doing look uh, these people I'm talking about the Mugler I'm talking about the Kuchan I'm talking about border power have as much as with a communism as with the last year snow I have if they would have changed a red star with a neo-nazi swastika it wouldn't make no difference they're using the same methods as nazis did and from what i explained inside of the video what it appears to me uh, they are not far from um, their ideology and their world in their ways I think they have promoted one greatly across the Eastern Europe and the only problem here is because we really do not we are not a Nazi nation here in Slovenia they have promoted this Nazism at our expense they scapegoated us that's all i have to say for this video thanks for watching till next time dragi moji slovenki in slovenci četništvo ali jugoslovanstvo je potrebno označiti pravno z nacizmo jugoslovanstvo ali četništvo to je oblika sovraštva ki vidi slovensko celovitost brez slovenskega naroda, ki vidi Slovenijo kot teritorijalno ozemeljsko, če hočete, vrednoto brez slovenskega naroda. To so pa že stvari, ki so z popolnoma istimi načeli, kot jih je imel na pravom Sloveniji nacizem. To so stvari, katere je Hitler izvajal nad slovenskim narodom. Lebenraum, on je tudi hotel o zemlje Slovenijo očiščeno brez slovenskega naroda. Se pravi, da gre tukaj Če tudi bi zanemarili dejstvo, da je Četništvo bilo v posteli, Četništvo je služilo kralju Petru, kralj Pavel je bil zaveznik Adolfa Hitlerja, če tudi bi zanemarili dejstvo, da je bilo Četništvo kolaborantstvo z nacizmom v drugi svetovni vojni, Če tudi bi to zanemarili, se ne da zanemariti dejstva, da se je po drugi svetovni vojni Srbija formirala v državo, ki je zahtevala na bivšem ozemlju Federativne republike Jugoslavije etnično čiščenje in to ne samo na pravom slovencem, ampak prav tako na pravom hrvatom, bosancem, Gospod Kočan Bosancem, to ste pršusto izjavo z non paper pred par dnevi, in seveda Makedoncem, Črnogorcem in ostalim. Tako da, 
Četništvo ali jugoslovanstvo je potrebno pravno izjednačiti z nacizmom in je treba dati organom pregona vse potrebno, da se kakršne koli vrednote, takšne vrednote ne bi tukaj na vzemlju Slovenije širile proti slovenskemu narodu. Smo mi slovenci videli primarno drug v drugem, oziroma drug drugega, drug v drugem, primarno človeka, nas bojo tudi tujci priznali za ljudi in sprejeli kot narod. Če se bomo pa delili naprej, potem bomo bili pa tako kot je Borod Pahormen dentil, vredni samo toliko, kakor tujci vidijo vrednosti v nas. Dobar dan. Kako pa tle, ki je? Jo, jo, dobar dan. Dobar dan. Jo, če sem pa gotov. Zdaj mi bo pa v grižnjo. In kar je očem pe. Pečenke nimam še boj. Če pečenke nimam še boj. Ja, več se je zasebno, že si jo. Ja. Drugo, če bom pa kakšno pečenko prnešel. Tako, da me ne bo starabo pojesti, gospod. Tako. Vse tresnečne rade. Vse. Živjo, da bo pa vi. Dobar dan, živjo. Živjo, živjo. Zdaj ima te lepo sosedo. Ja. Za nas te lepo bazen naredil tam. Ja. To se še spolnil. Dobro je, dobro je, lepo 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 je, ja, ja, ti pa pa, a, ta se pomaga, ki se gore. A, ve, pa mora skozi za mnoj bet. In kar ma vpeh, pa dobro. Ja, ja, ma, 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 se hodi, se treba, ma. Ma, dar, dar. Nekaj? Vas se pa še spomnim, jaz ne vem, da se vi mene spomnim, vi se mene spomnite kje. Ne vem, kam bi vam vas dal. Ja, no, saj če smo včasih hodili, spremljali na spreha smo to včasih, če smo hodili, ampak se držate, da se spremljam, vidite, ne vem, ali se po mojem celo verenojo delo kje tazga. Ne. Ali je bil neko kovinarstvo nekje tazga, je to bilo, ne. A ni bilo nekje tazga, bi se v eni delavni. Kaj sem, kaj sem zrobljane. Ampak nekaj veli, da je pa bilo, ni bilo nekaj veliko brat, nekaj tazga. Ne? Ja, ti štari sem delal pa v avtobuse. Avtobusi? Avtobuse smo se stavljali pa take stvari pa. Avtobuse ste se stavljali? Se pravi, da tu je neka proizvodna taka bila, ne? Tako, tako, avtomontaža. No, se pravi, da to je tudi neki je pol, no, zdaj pa renog ne bi bil, ampak je bilo pa tako veliko, ne? Veliki obrat je bilo to. Kako? Šesto ljudi. Šesto ljudi? Ja, ja. No, 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 no. Ja, ja. Dobro, jaz sem mislil, da ste v... Ja, če sem drugače pa namo. Jaz sem mislil, da ste tukaj. Ne, 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 Maj, maj štere tvoje oče, zdaj se bomo se spomnim, vse se spomnim, evo, zdaj bomo se povedali, kaj je bilo. Lasnika vaše firme se spomnim, kako se je začelo vse. Ja? To je bila firma, ki je bila predhodno, ne vem, koga je bilo, ampak vem pa, da se je zgodilo tam enega leta, 96, nekaj tazga, da se je pa nekaj zmenjalo tam. Ja, ni pičer, jaz so zelo postrelom ustrel direktorja. Jaz ga nisem. Ne, ne, vem, kdo ga je, pa... Ne? Ne, pa namenoma, ne. Nesreča, ne? Kaj je, neka zamera je bila, kaj sta ona dva mela, ne vem, v glavnem... On je delal pri nas drugače, ne, samo pa so ga odpustili, pa ne vem, kaj sta pa šel. Odpustil so ga, gospod. Ja, ja, in je bil toliko na nož, da je pa šel v 
Žloko strelam, da ga je pospravil. Je ubil? Ne. Ja, ja. Do smrt, do smrt ga je, ja. In se je bilo zdaj, da se je dal, ja, ne bom znal boli. Ja, se ne more biti res. Ja, ja, takrat je bilo tista afera v glavnem, ampak je pa je še obstajala firma, pa je in čas, pa let pa je bilo pa. Pa so pa to. Pa je bilo pa na novo vse, ne? Zaprli so. Ja, in pa par letek, ne? Ker je zdaj, to so tisti celovski dvori, zdaj tam pa... No njih je. Jaz jaz tako le bivo soprašal, ker sem bil v tej firmi noter, no. Ja? In se spomnim, celo tega gospoda se spomnim. Vi ste pa bil... Vse je bila tu ena velika zamera, ne vem kaj proti njemu, cel kolektiv se proti njemu obrnil, jaz ne vem koga je bilo. Vi ste bil eden od tisti, ki je mi pa reč, ki zmer. Zdaj se spomnim to stvar. Ne vem, lejte, jaz sem bil v proizvodni, jaz nisem mojil znopen mu nič. Takole je, takole je, takole je, takole je ena taka... Hala je bila, pa se šel pa nekaj gor, je tudi bilo. Ja, gor so bile pisarne. Je tako, gor so bile pa pisarne. In je... Se mu zdaj ena druga stvar slala, zdaj ena druga zadeva slala, pa je bilo tu. Se pravi, pa se je tam na novo nekaj začelo delati ali tako, ker to je velika stvar, spet je ratala, to je šlo pa naprej. Mi smo delali ni Vekota in Mercedesa in Skanijo in vse. Kaj se je zgodilo? Leta 2000 so zamenali ali kaj je bilo? Se je začelo nekaj drugega dogajati? Tam se je zaprl, tam se je zaprl, v Mariboru. A je bil tu tam ali kako je bil tam? Ja, tam se je zaprl, kaj motor je delal, ne, pa šasije. Pa da se tuk, da se človeka... In pa smo pa uvazali šasije, ne, in smo delali kvalitetne avtobuse, ne, in... Se pravi, se pravi, da zdaj sem pa še tu do konca prišel, se pravi, da je zdaj, kako je bom temu gospodu imel to? Lipičar se je pisal, kako mi je bilo pa ime, pa ne vem, ne morem reči. 96. ga se ga ustrelil. Zelo ko strelim se ga ustrelil. Ja, zelo ko strelim se ga ustrelil. Pa je, kaj se je pa s to kaznesko vadbo pol proti temu? Nič, se ni zdaj. Ne vem, nač, jaz nisem s tem vse poglavljal. Jaz kar sem tako, ne, zvedel, da bi pa se je s tem, kaj poglavljal, je pa to... Taka katastrofa je tu bila. Ja, pa je pa, un Bergman je bil direktor, ali pa je bil že... Ja, ja, sej, sej, lejte čak te malo. Sej vam bom kar tako lepo vedel, mlad, zgledate sicer, ampak vi ste se v bistvu del upokojil. Vi ste, vi ste, niste se še bo upokojil. Ne še, zdaj da se bom. Se mislil, da ste se pa tam enega petnaestega, da ste se že upokojil. Ne, ne. Ne, ne znam, ali tam bom zaključil to vse skupaj. Se pravi, da vi ste pa vse v čas tam delal v tej firmi? Ja, jaz sem delal tam 15, po 20 let sem delal tam v avkomontažu. Ja, 15, 20 let, vi ste več delal kot 20 let. Vi ste v ta stari firmi delal. Ja, sem bil drugije, ne? Ne, vi ste delal tam že 95 leta ste delal tam. Samo to je bila druga firma. Kakor ste rekel s tem gospodom, se delal. To je bila druga firma, ki se je pa spremenilo v nekaj drugega. To vem, da se je spremenilo. Se pravi, ko so nega stvetil do 96, pa do 98, da se je začel nekaj drugega, ne? 99 ga so začel nekaj družbe, tako je bilo, bom bom nič povedal. 99 ga so začel nekaj družbe. Ja, ja, jaz vem, da je to naredil. Jaz to vem, da je to naredil. Jaz to vem, da je to naredil. Se pravi... A kako ti pa ti let? Kako je pa to, kako je pa to grazna stvar, ko zdaj slišam? Ja. Je pa, je pa za moje pojene... To je pa ti, to je pa ti, to je pa ti. Jaz se samo vas pomem, da bi se delal, 
jaz sem mislil, da tu je bilo, tam, kar ste ljubil, tu je bilo vse tako svetlo, je bilo tako belo, je bilo noto, ni bilo tako bolj belo, tako sveto, je bilo noto. To so bile štance, stroji so bili postavljeni. Štance so bile stroji? Ja, ja, štance so bile stroji, so bili to je bilo. Proizvodna je bila tako veliko, je bilo. Ja. Veliko, veliko je bilo. To je tako nekako zgledalo, to je nekako tako zgledalo kot čisto delavno za nekaj tazga zgledalo kot recimo, če bi dal recimo, ajde od tele recimo, tam do to so bile take hale v bistvu hale so bile nekaj bilo pa tako pa da tega kozov to recimo, nekaj tazga jo, je bilo kar več je bilo kar več ali je bilo več, ne bilo samo eno ja, je bilo več hali ja, ja, ja jaz so spravo Kaj je firma? Katera firma? Kako je bilo ime te firme? Automontaž. Automontaž. Zdaj so celovski dvori tam. Ti so zrušili vse, Hertik. Zdaj so pa zrušili vse? Vse, celovski dvori so, ker so še dolžen ostali pod izvajalcem in vse. To se je dogajalo tam vse sorce. Jo, ha, ha, jaz tak ne vem. Ja. A tako pa je tu jedno. Tako je tu. Jaz sem nisem popraviti povedano. Iz mojega gdika, tako kot sem ti jaz postavljal to, ne. Je bilo to nekaj, kar se nikdar ne izgodilo. Pa to je. Ja. Tako sem jaz to vedel. Tu je, tu je, um, ja. To je to kret nazaj, to je že... Jaz bom vam čisto tako povedal, da je gospod Kočan ga ni maral. Jaz bom vam kar direktno povedal, da ga niso maral. Ne vem. Vezdejo, vezdejo ga niso maral, ne. Čisto tako direktno bom vam povedal, ne. Ker vem, ker vem, ker vem, kdo mi je kaj povedal leta 1999, da bo razal o tam. Jaz se pa tu spomnim kaj bi. Tam bi, tam bi mogel biti Mercator, ne? Lejte, lejte. Pa to pa uno gor dekorativno podar, ali pa je bila, dekorativna je bila, pa to sam gor Mercator naredil. Drugačo imeli na men načrt sedol Mercator naprit, ne? Pa to pa tam gor, mislim, da je dekorativno, ja, dekorativno, ne? To je ne, da bi hvala proti komorkovi, ne bom spravod, ali skrko, ampak več od tiske stvari se pa malo predeleč. Vem, samo, samo, samo tu je pa predeleč. Zdaj so pa celovske dvore naredili. Tih se je bilo pa, tudi sem neka svenarija, oni so tudi izvajal, se plačvali neki meč in to bolj narko kradel, pa pa napun naredel, ki bo tudi bolj napun narejeno tudi. Zdaj še ni dokon tam, tam na konc prcelovski sploh je neka jama, sploh ne vem kva, kva bo tam. Zdaj bojo pa, bojo v šiški delali tam nekje dve stolpance, najvišje. V Sloveniji. Ja, ja, ne, jaz, 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 vse se nekaj spomnimo, tudi celo občino, on tole me je pa prizadelo, ko smo zdaj lepo vedel v tem gospodu. Tole me je pa vredi prizadelo. Ne, ve vse kaj, jaz mislim, da take stvari so nepotrebne, veš, tu je, tu je, tu je, tu je čisto polnoma nepotrebne. Da li da se drugače veš, jaz samo, ne vem, kako so takve to razpali, ne. Tako kot s Kranbergerjem so rešili. Ja, ja. Gliš tako. Gliš na ta način. Ja, kaj. Pa in ga drugega obdoziti. Ne, jaz mislim, da se to, veste kako je, kaj, jaz mislim, da je to. Jaz mislim, da je tako način strahovlade, terorije nad ljudmi, ki je dejansko za določenje segmente, ki je družba potreben, ker hoče, da se tako še zidene zrobi. Zahtevajo to od nas. Samo jaz mislim, ipak, da se take stvari zelo 
ne samo protivstavne, nepotrebne, ampak tudi, bom rekel, za narod bi morali biti popolnoma nesprejimljive. Ker kot narod mi moramo tukaj nekaj biti vredni na tej zemlji. Ne da nas očijo, da smo tukaj vredni, a v bistvu, kakor tu iz svet iz nas iztrž. Mi smo to naredili, ne pa naši predniki pa to... Samo lej, to se ne moraš. Mi ne bomo to rešiti. Mi ne bomo to rešiti, tako da... Žene vaše se pa ne spomnim, jaz se samo vaše spomnim. Ja. Če imate neki otroke, otroke žene, imate, ampak... Ja. Ja, so, ampak jaz se nisem videl tukaj. Zdaj jih nisem videl. Ne. Ja, hvala. Razumem, razumem. Tu mi je pa zelo žal. Aha. Vse se so take stvari, se se zdogajajo, takrat, da postravljajo se v takih ljudi, recimo, tudi vse do nove mesto. Ja, vse bo sod se zdogajajo. Nek kriminal bi rekel, ne temu. Lejte, če mene vprašate, kako jaz to zadevo vidim. Hiter noče, počas zdaj pomoči. Ker nismo sami, ali je tako da on strani Hrvaška, pa pa Bosna je. In Bosna bo tam ostala. Vem, da jih boli. Vem, zakaj jih boli. Ampak, lejte, oni so tisti, ki bolj morali tudi jaz. Na tam stran. Žal? Ne, ni žal. Ne, ampak... Lejte, take stvari, so popolnoma nepotrebne. To ni v naših rokah, ne? Te stvari so nepotrebne, lejte. To ni v naših rokah, to mi ne moramo nečrešiti. To je politika, tko pele in dojo pa kruji, pa... Na nas se bomo vedel, kaj bomo. Ja. Se mi jaz pravim, da je tako ne bo. Jaz pravim, da tako ne bo, no. Jaz ne samo tu povem. Mi bomo mrbe še kakr to, kaj bojo pa pojeli za nami. Mi bomo še kakr toliko, kaj bojo pojeli za nami in tako naprej. Jaz vem samo eno stvar, lejte, da... Je nespremljiva ena taka, kakr se reče, en tak, en tak... Kukor bi rekel, recimo, recimo, da bi se vprašal, kaj je tu, recimo, tole. Pa bi bi rekel, tu je Ajmer, ne? In pa bi bi videl oceno. Tu je zato, da je voda nota, ki je ta zgodno. Se mi zdi, da je nespremljiva ena taka diagnoza narodu, češ, da je samo tuk vreden, kukor tujci vidijo v njemu vrednost. Tu se mi zdi, padlo, enostavno povedano padlo in veste o teh tujcev. Za katere bi mi morali misliti, da so važni, ne, toliko, da oni ocenijo, kako smo mi vredni kot narod, veste, nimam dobrega misla. To je tako, ne, mi smo mehna država in drug ocenijo. Ja, ne, nismo, veste, nismo. Drug ocenijo je, kako smo mi vredni, ne. Veste, nismo, nismo tako mehna, ne. Kako smo mi sposobni in kaj. Veste, kaj, nismo, nismo, nismo. Do nas bo prodal. Sploh, sploh nismo tako mehna država. Ja, sploh, da ne, samo. Ti je eno stvari, da nismo tako mehna država, ker, lejte. Prodani smo pa že zdavne. E, Če so tisti, ne, taki narod, kot je recimo ruski, polski, pa češki, ne, taki velik večji narod našga, ne, potrebni za kom mehne države, ne, zato da lahko sebe nekje plasirajo, recimo, na svetovnem trgu, s tem, da se pluva po nas, ne, potem tako mehna država tudi nismo, ne, da, 
Ki je pa znam, je tako potrebno ravnati na svoji zemlji, ne. Se ga se tisto, tisto pa ne moram strenjati, ne. Jaz mislim, da kot ljudje, mi moramo sebe videti, tako jaz mislim. Mi bomo bili vredni nekaj takrat, ko bomo sebe videli, pa prvo kot ljudi, ne. Človeka, ne. Da si ti človk, si ti človk ali kaj si ti, ne. To je tisto prva stvar. Zdaj, če bomo drug druz, v drug bomo videli človeka, ne. Pa bo to ena stvar, če se bomo pa, pa če se bomo pa delili, ne. Takrat bomo pa, takrat nas boj pa še naprej uništvali, tako kot ne, bomo pa zginili. Majo, majo pa drugi moč. Se veda majo, ne. Ja. Ne, to je, to je grožno. Tule, kar sem zdaj, tukaj me je prizadeli. Tule me je zelo prizadeli. Tule me je pa zelo prizadeli. In se spomnim, tudi vas se spomnim, da je drugo vero. To je, to je grozno. To je bilo nepotrebno. A ta gospod, ki ste mi ga zdaj omenil, ne? Ja. On je mu še tako svetla lase jemu, ne? Ja. Ne? Je bilo tako? Tak zlom, da kjer je. Ja. Tu je nepotrebno, veste, tako stvari so nepotrebne. Tu je, tu ni v redu. Ja. Veste, zakaj je še bolj ni to? v redu, a veste, zakaj ne bi v redu. Še bolj ta stvar ni v redu zaradi tega, ker takrat smo bili mi slovenci, nemci, bili smo rasisti, bili smo nacisti, tu smo bili mi, dokler Rusija z nemci ni dosegla dogovora o nacizmu, o fašizmu, preko katerega so dobesedno začeli Nemce pošilati v Rusijo, pa v Belorusijo, tam so se začeli podmlejevati z Rusi, z Rusinjami. Za nas slovence so pa ocenili, da bo tukaj potrebno pripravljati ene ljudi, ki so ne beli in bomo mi potem postali, ne, vse veste, kaj jaz imam, ni česar proti njim, ampak Do takšnega recepta, tako so Nemci z njimi naredili dogovor, da bomo mi bili kot narod slovenski obratno in bomo mi potem takem bili podrejeni končno Rusom in tako naprej. Potem, da bo Rus, da je tis, ki bo bil blondin in bo tle prišel, veste, zame je tu višek kretenizma. Za Nemce je pa tu recept nacistični, katerega se držijo, ker vejo, da lahko dosežejo take stvari, Samo za tistimi, ki so večji narodi, ker vejo, da imajo mejhen narod s tem v šahu, ker mejhen narod hoče biti tako, ki smo mi, tati, ki smo, razumete? Oni pa tega ne marijo, Nemci pa tega ne marijo, Nemci pa hočejo take stvari. In so tako padlo naredili tele Rusi, da so, veste, da so preko nas tega niso mogli dosežiti, ampak z Rusi pa so tu dosegli in so tu dosegli, za volje žlahnobe proti nam. Veste, kakšno žlahnoba je tu? Jaz se tega ne moram tudi predstavljati. Tako so raši tuje. Tu je boli, take stvari. Tu so stvari, ki so nepotrebne. Kaj pa je čovk kriv? Kaj pa je, lejte, pa vse vete, kaj je. Lejte, kaj pa je čovk kriv, če se je tle rodil, pa če je, ne vem, kaj, če ima, ne vem, če je blond, ali pa kaj je, in tako naprej. Kaj pa je tu kriv do naših ljudi, in tako naprej. Kakšno preklep tu pa je zdaj tu? Zakaj pa moramo mi zdaj pa tako biti, pa take stvari se mora dogajati, in tako naprej. Tam v Rusiji pa proti azijskim emigrantom diskriminirajo in vsem v živmu. Nacizem govijo. Nekje morajo, da se sebe upravičijo, kot tako. Ja, mislim, za njih, za njih, za njih, za njih, za njih, oni so, jaz se spomnim, kaj je bilo na Češkem, jaz se spomnim tovarne škode, jaz se spomnim, kaj je bilo. In, in jaz sem, jaz sem prišel do tega zaključka, da, glede na to, kar sem videl so svojimi očmi, da, da, je bilo tudi taka, taka žlahnova je bila, tudi je bila taka, taka zavist, veste, zavist je bila. Vse oni se ne zavedajo tega, da, ja, pripravljeni so bili tudi, bom rekel, tudi s hudičom v pojstvo je, gledajte, samo da, ne vem, jaz ne vem zakaj, zakaj je tudi, zakaj tudi tako mora biti, zakaj se ne moramo skupaj deliti, pa pomagati, jaz res ne razumem te stvari. Res, grozna stvar, kot smo slišali. 
Grozi. No bo mamy coś już. Ja, ampak... Bolimy tu, ne? Bolimy tu, ker, ker, ker vse četire jačeš recimo, da si ti za eno enakosto, ne? Ja. Med ljudmi, ne? Zakaj pa, zakaj pa take stvari, recimo, recimo, oni govorijo, recimo, recimo, pa har pa recimo Kutin pravijo, da so pač bili komunisti, ne? Da so bili, ja. da so bili komunisti. Zdaj, kaj te metode njihove žele te nakazujo, kaj, kaj tu proti, recimo, recimo, v Bosni, kaj se dogaja, pa recimo te stvari, da se te njihove metode nakazujo, ne samo, ne samo to, kar se dogaja v odpoje, ampak to, to podporo za ta ruski nacizem, ki ga gojil v Rusiji, dobesedno nacizem gorijo. Gojil ga tam nacizem, tam je, tam je tu je nova držela nacizmu. Veste kako, če vidite, če so Nemci začeli pakirati kočke, če imate Šröderja tam, da dela za tisne ferme, pa, pa če so kočke začeli poberati, pakirati, pa s kočke letijo v Moskvo, pa tam delajo kot šefi v fermah, pa, pa take stvari se dogajajo. Veste, da se nekaj groznega dogaja, no? da, ni, da ni tisto, kar so, tisto, kar so takrat nam govorili, da nasmemo, tu se tam dogaja. Zakaj pa te, zakaj pa te gospodje? Ja, ampak zakaj te gospodje, recimo, kučan, po borod pahor, recimo, ki se govori, da so komunisti bili. Veste kaj, tu niso bili komunisti. Te ljudje so uporabljali besede komunizm, zato da so se pred, recimo, pred ta pravimi komunisti, recimo, takimi, ko je, recimo, kitajska, recimo, ki so res, komunisti, ki se res lahko reče, da je komunist. Ja. Ker so tudi nekaj dosegel v tega, lejte. Zato, da so se, zato, da so se skril, lejte. Lejte, lejte, lejte skri, skrivajo so se, skrivajo so za besedo komunisti, jer zim, so se nasi. Ja. Jaz vam povem, ni mi všeč, čisto, ko vam povedal. Zdaj sem pa politični narodil, ko nad smel, ampak tu, tu, ko sem slišal, zelo me je sterljiva. Dobro je. Grozno je. Grozno je. Lep dan želim. Hvala vam, Adijo.